Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind. Also, Taurus, please remember that if someone is strongly energetically connected to you, they may show up in your reading, so take the energies as they resonate. They may be reversible or interchangeable between you and your person. Okay, Taurus, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Two of Wands. You're waiting for something. You're anticipating or expecting something. In the recent past, Taurus, you get the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. There's some regret or remorse tied up to something that happened between you and someone that you find very, very attractive. Um, the weird thing is, is like I see you slowly moving away from this energy, moving past this energy. I don't know exactly what this is, though, so we'll see when we clarify. In the current situation, you get the Eight of Swords, the Strength, and the Six of Wands. You want to feel good in a situation, but you're having a hard time doing so. For some reason, it's almost like you're having a hard time feeling like you're able to achieve or accomplish something. And the reason is because you are overthinking the living heck out of this, Taurus. You are all up in your head with your thoughts and you're overthinking it, which is preventing you from just feeling good. In the near future, you get the lovers, the seven of wands and the wheel of fortune. There's a really, really intense connection showing up here for you, Taurus. And it's almost like you're like, nope, stay back, stay back. You stay there. I stay here. Stay back. But I see that changing. I see this resistance changing. So let's clarify, Taurus. Let's start off by clarifying the five of cups in your recent past. Okay. Five of Cups is clarified by the Empress, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. There was a situation here um, between you and your person. You're looking at this person like they're all that in a bag of chips. They're the best thing that's happened to you since sliced bread. And it's showing up as you wanting to restore balance, you wanting to bring back balance, but you didn't. You shot yourself in the foot in a sense. It's showing up as like you self-sabotaging this whole energy of like making things right, bringing back balance. You were sabotaging it for yourself, okay? And I see you taking a look at that and kind of regretting this and being like, damn, why did I do that? Why did I self-sabotage? Um, let's take a look at the King of Wands in your recent past. And again, Taurus, I say you because this is your reading. This could be your person. You would know who the energy resonates with. <clears throat> King of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, which you get in the current situation, the Ten of Pentacles. You walked away from something with, which had a lot of long-term stability and potential. And the reason you decided to walk away from this Taurus and leave this behind is because you were overthinking it. You let your mind take over this situation. And even though this had long-term potential, even though this had stable energy, you let your mind and your overthinking take over. And you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, this is best. This is best. I should just walk away from this. This is, this is making my mind too busy. Um... I don't, I don't think you really wanted to walk away from this, honestly, but your mind made, it made sense, basically. All the overthinking is what, that's what it got you. Let's take a look at the Knight of Pentacles in your recent past. Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Lots of knights, that's lots of movement. In the recent past, you're having a hard time moving past this. You want to move very quickly. You want to get through this. You want to express how you feel to this person. You want to do it. Like, if you have this energy of, like, you know, going zero to 100, of, like, I love you, I care about you, like, you know, I want to express how I feel. But you're also stopping yourself. You're moving very, very slowly, and that's kind of difficult for you. Um, you are an earth sign, though. So it could be that you're having a hard time moving quickly or acting based off of how you feel. Um, but there's, there's a lot of action wanting to be taken here in the recent past. It's just hard for you for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but three nights, that's, that's a lot of movement. Let's take a look at the Eight of Swords in the current situation. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Star. 
Taurus, you want a new beginning. Whatever you walked away from, you're gaining an understanding in the current situation where you're like, yeah, I, I want to start over with this person. I want to start over in this connection. I didn't want to walk away. I didn't want to leave this behind. I want to start fresh. I want to start over. That's what's opening up your current situation. This You're gaining this like understanding of like, yeah, this is what I really want. I want a new, fresh beginning with this person. Let's take a look at the strength in your current situation. Strength is clarified by the sun, the three of cups, the two of pentacles. You're having a hard time right now, Taurus, because you want to reconcile with this person. You really want to reconcile. Just the thought of a reconciliation makes you so happy, but you're so confused about it too. And I'm laughing because I'm more detached from this, so I can see this and it's like, I can see how you feel, I can see your desires, but it's frustrating to you because you know what you want. You want to reconcile with them. This Just the thought of that brings you so much happiness, but you're really confused about whether you should, whether you shouldn't, what you should do. Um, there's a little bit of frustration in the current situation that's stemming from your inability to decide. There's some confusion here. Um, whether you should go for this reconciliation or not. Let's take a look at the Six of Wands in the current situation, see what that's about. Six of Wands is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is opening up. Somebody here is going to decide, you or your person, to open up and be like, hey, I have feelings for you. I care about you. Let's start fresh. Let's start over from a place of love. Let's have this new beginning between us. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. I feel like somebody is going to go for this reconciliation um, and really, really take it. They're not going to jump in and be like, oh my God, I love you so much, you know. But they're going to they're gonna communicate. They're going to come forward in a way where, you, where you'll know exactly what this is and what the intention behind it is. Let's take a look at the lovers in the near future. Lovers is clarified by the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Swords. <sighs> Taurus, this is a really intense connection here, okay? And what I'm noticing is that you or your person, right? Somebody here has the tendency to, whenever they start feeling something, whenever the emotions start to pop up for this person, they immediately shut them off and go to their head. So in the near future, this connection, somebody wants to reconcile. And it's almost like, and again, I'm going to put this on you because this is your reading. You want to reconcile. You know this makes you happy. You're really clear that you want a new beginning with this person. And then that finally happens. Like you're, you're moving in that direction. You get little steps in that direction. And then you're like, oh, feelings, feelings. Nope, got to go, got to go, got to walk away. No, 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 no. We can't have these feelings. They're scary. They're too much. I'm going to get hurt, right? In the near future, you're doing it again. This connection, this intense connection, which you want, by the way, honey, okay? It's popping up here. You want this intense connection. You're, you're clear on that, right? This isn't like being forced on you. The second you start feeling that, immediately you're like, nope, got to go up into my head. What makes logical sense? What makes logical sense for me is to walk away from this. Do I want to do it? No. Is the thought of leaving this bringing in anxiety for me? Yes but it makes logical sense. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. This is what makes sense for me to do. Um, let's take a look at the seven of wands in the near future for you. Seven of wands is clarified by the tower, the knight of wands and the hanged man. I see you being really afraid of everything coming crumbling down on you if you act based on how you feel, based on what drives you, and you're just kind of stopping. You're like, I don't want this tower to come crumbling down. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to act based on how I feel. You're kind of just like sitting in a corner and being like, give me a minute. Let me take a break. Let me take a pause. I'm going to stop. I'm not moving. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to move in any direction until I feel comfortable that, you know, this tower is not going to come crashing on my head. Um, I get it. I get it. I get it. But, you know, at some point you're going to have to move, Taurus. And I see you doing that with the Wheel of Fortune here. Let's clarify that. The Wheel of Fortune in the near future, closing out your reading.
Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Hermit. Basically, Taurus, what I'm seeing is that deep, deep down, you want to hold on to your independence. You're showing up as focused on yourself and taking care of yourself. And I feel like this is kind of a process that you have to go through. You have to go deep within. You have to focus on yourself to really get an understanding and a clarity of what it is that you want. What it is that feels good to you. Makes you feel stable and grounded. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I kind of see this as like a cycle of you retreating into this like safe space of yours whenever things get too much. And that's not a bad thing, right? But it could be a pattern of yours that you do that the second you start feeling anything, even if it's something that you really want, you you kind of get a little bit scared or intimidated and you're like, oh, stop, 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 stop. Everybody stop, everybody stop. And, and there's a file of swords. Uh, everybody stop, I'm not ready for this yet. That's kind of what I'm getting in the near future. Let's take a look at the current situation. Or I'm sorry, what the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Oh my gosh. Hold on, Taurus. Spirit, can we keep them on the table? One more, please. Five of Swords popped out. King of Swords popped out. King of Swords. Lots of swords, Taurus. That's lots of swords. There's a lot of thinking here. From the universe, you get the Five of Swords, the King of Swords, the Page of Swords. This pattern of yours, remember we talked about how you immediately, once you start feeling something, you take it up into your head and you're like, oh, this is what makes sense. Let me do what makes sense. This is a self-sabotaging pattern of yours that you may have. And the cool thing though, Taurus, is that in the current situation, this week, I see you starting to realize that. You may have this tendency where the second you feel something, it, it, it scares you for some reason, right? It intimidates you, even if it's something that you want. And you're like, nope, enough with the feelings. What makes sense? Let's approach this from a logical perspective. And when you do that, you're actually self-sabotaging yourself because you're fighting against, you're going against something that you want. You wanted this. You want this. You're just afraid of the feelings. The feelings are what gets you. And so you immediately go up into your head. I see you this week realizing that you have this tendency to self-sabotage by thinking, by overthinking, by taking everything up into your head and not letting your feelings really shine through. And it's beautiful because realization is the first step to fixing something, if you do want to fix it, Taurus. This is a really beautiful reading, Taurus. Um, thank you for tuning in. If this resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Taurus.